today god is giving you one thing to you ask seek and knock luke chapter 11 9 to 10 ask and it will be given to you seek and you will find it knock and the door will be open to you for everyone who ask receives the one who seeks finds and to the one who knocks the door will be open this is the excellent promise of the prayer to receive the and the receive the promise of the prayer you should know one thing in your life that is the two points are very very important those two points are nothing but the practice of prayer and the basis of prayer then only you can uh, find the blessing of the promise of the prayer so to know about the practice of prayer you are going to see the jesus christ told two parables one parable for the practice of prayer and another par- parable for the basic of prayer for the pra- practice of prayer the pra- parable of the friend at the midnight and the basic of prayer and the parable of the father who gives what his child needs if you know these two things like practice of prayer and basic of prayer then it is easy for you to get the promise of prayer it to, to to know about um, um the pra- the practice of a uh, uh, prayer let us read uh, luke chapter 11 5 to 10 the parable of the friend in the midnight then jesus said to them suppose you have a friend and you go to him at midnight and say friend let me lend me three loaves of bread a friend of mine on a journey has come to me and i have no food to offer him and suppose the one inside the answers don't bother me the door is already knocked and my children and i are in bed i can't get up and give you anything but um look 11 n8 says i tell you even though he will not get up and give you the bread because of his friendship yet because of your same shameless uh, audacity he will surely get up and give you as much as you need so this is the practice of prayer the practice of prayer here this, this parable emphasizes what is emphasizes is not um, uh, this parable shows the point out how committed the host was to meet the traveler's need and thus his boldness and shameless the same thing we have to be boldness bold um, and to to uh, bold go to go in front of god and we should be uh, not shamelessness that is what is needed that is this parable emphasizes god is not compared to the neighbor and his irritation the host the petitioner is compared to the disciple the point of the parable is that if an irritated person respond to the boldness so you can be bold with the gracious father and continually pray so this is the practice of the prayer the practice of the prayer is that a shamelessness and boldness is needed for you to approach lord god jesus christ because our god the father is gracious he is not like a irritated person who responded negatively our god is a god is a gracious and so it is needed for us to pray continuously knock the door continuously seek search and knock and this is the god is approachable and should be approached often and with confident that is the that is the way you can approach the god in the prayer because first john 151 first john chapter 5 says if god if you know the will of the god and if you are praying according to the will of the god then you have that confident and um, to to know that god will certainly answer your prayer that is what is needed what is needed is first john 5 14 and 15 says this is a confidence we have in approaching god that if you ask anything according to his will he hears us and if we know that he hears us whatever we ask we know that we have what we ask to him so that is what is needed in our prayer how to approach god we have to approach god with the confidence and shamelessness the next point is um, what is the basis of prayer for the basic basis of prayer god is giving another parable that is a parable of father who gives what his son needs only his son needs that is that in luke chapter 11 uh look at level 11 to 13 so i will read that if a child ask you his father for a fish would you give him a snake instead or if your child ask you for an egg would you give him a scorpion even though you are evil you know how to give good gift to your children so how much more will your father in heaven give the holy spirit to those who ask you so this is the basic of the prayer the what is the basic here is that is that the parent here the main the best gift is the holy spirit not only that my main point we have to uh, see here is that um, only god knows the uh, what is best for us uh, not the petitioner the, so the what is best for us that is what god will give you not the petitioner whatever petitioner ask um, that is the main point we are considering here whatever god give is only for our good and father give only the good thing to the child not anything to the child so um, 
another thing very very important is that only the friend is knocking the friend and the child is asking the father so if you have the good relationship with the god then only you can ask god then only you have the boldness to go in front of god and then only you know the god will certainly give what is pleasing to him and moreover we should be must be careful not to take the relationship granted because you can't say but god the father is my eternal father is my father and god has obligated to give all me all this to you because i am a god child you should not be like that and ask whatever you want so don't take the relationship as a granted those who ask do not receive must examine themselves to see if they ask wrongly to spend it for the lustful pleasure and moreover those who ask the wrong things in the life will always come up empty the holy spirit is what father promises to give what jesus brings and what people must need the holy spirit is a channel of god's grace and blessing and the holy spirit will empower disciples uh, to do what jesus tell them to do so how today we learn how to um, approach god in the prayer shamelessly and boldly approach god because if you go ask god according to your will god is ready to answer you that is your assurance and how to what is the basic of the prayer the basic of the prayer is that as the father and the the, the, the father in the world are giving the children what they want are not the good things only they are giving the same thing the father in heaven will give the good gift to the petitioner and the good gift is decided by the god not by the petitioner maybe the uh, petitioner asking some good gift which is not going to be the blessing to him god the eternal father who has the everlasting wisdom will never provide it and he will give according to his will and moreover whatever we ask the best gift of god give is the holy spirit because through the holy spirit because holy spirit is a channel through which we can get the god's grace and the god's blessing i want to pray for you so if you want to get the entire blessing of the words of the of the word of luke chapter 11 over 9 so i'll tell you ask and you will receive search and you will find knock and the doors will be open for you because to ask means it is an invitation of prayer to seek means an invitation to perceive god and his will to knock means to one who knocks it will be open coming into the god's presence and the blessing i pray for you thank you lord thank you for this day lord thank you for revealing us um, how to know how to ask how to seek and how to knock my lord in such way we will seek we'll ask we'll seek and knock and get the uh, the promise of the prayer in the name of jesus amen god bless you to uh, to get the blessing of prayer amen